All right, guys, welcome back to the shop. And today we're going to get started on cutting out this old floor and getting the patch panel we cut out in the last part installed. And what I've got to do first is try to figure out exactly where I need to cut on both inner and outer side of the door frames. So what I'm going to do is I'll get the patch panel and we'll temporarily set it up here. It's not going to fit too good, but at least we can kind of get an idea about where to start cutting. I haven't done anything with this patch panel since I cut it the other day because of uh, other things have come up. One thing we've got a good locating lo locator is this indention right here. Should have made up with the indention in this floor. And by using that, we should be able to uh, tell right now that it's back a little further on both sides than what it's actually at. So we'll look like uh, we're that's sharp too. We're somewhere right up in this area. And yeah, it'll put a pin. Alright, so just by eyeballing this thing, we can tell a couple of things. Uh, number one is basically how far back we need to go here. Now I can tell that I'm, I'm a, you know, this, this notch here is going to be way up here, so I'm still, I've got a good inch right there. So I could go ahead and mark this and cut it out basically about where it's at and then just trim it up. I want to go ahead and uh, mark down through here. And of course we're going to go back, we're going to cut below the mark and we're going to go back and uh, I ain't worried about this mark because I know that that mark is normal. I know I'm going to have to cut back on it, but we can kind of guess and make where we're going to end up cutting this thing. And I know I've got to come back at least about right here to get this lined up. So I know I'm going to be cutting right in this area. And I can also go ahead and mark this back here. And now I've pretty much, other than lining up them marks, got it where it's going to be cut. And the last thing they do is line up the mark from here to back here. I'm just going to use a fairly straight piece of cardboard. And I'm gonna just line these marks up from here to here. And as long as I stay below my mark, I also need to line it up here to here. As long as I stay below this mark here, I know I'm not gonna to cut too much off. If I cut it and we're down to good metal here, then I then I'm trim up my patch panel. If I cut it and we're nailed to get a little higher, then I should have room to go. And just by looking at this, it looks like that's going to pretty much get us out of that bad area. But I've got some flaking. flaking than anything else. For, most, for the most part the paint looks good until you get right down in here. You know, all that will get cut out. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get our uh, personal tank equipment on and I am going to go ahead and put on my uh, welding jacket. It is a little cool out here today, so it ain't going to be too bad wearing it. Make sure all the spiders are out of it. 
and uh, we're just going to use the old uh, grinder with a cutoff wheel. Now on this part here, I know I've got to get between the spot welds and this lip. Now, these spot welds here are not quite as easy to see on this dark paint as it is on that white paint. sure right up in this area here I got too far back I couldn't hardly see but that ain't, that ain't no biggie we got we got a little room I can trim that so the thing now is just see how this thing fits I hope that I didn't screw up too bad always a little bit of pain Ooh. to uh, a little bit, a little bit wide here. That's for sure. Got the right length on it. It's good here. Now yeah, maybe just ain't all the way up. I think what I can do is slide it up under it and mark this thing. You can see my lines, maybe. So, so we either cut this, see, I got. And I can tell right here, I got way off this line. I got a, a line way up here. And you can tell right here where it come down and come back up. It's running with the line and it drops way down and it comes back up to the line right here. So I'm pretty close. So I was really close to that line. I just terrible with cutting. So what I think I might do is I might straighten that up a little bit and just keep trimming on it until I start getting it to where it's going to meet up. I want a pretty close uh, uh, pretty close gap. I don't want a big gap like I got down here. I think what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to look at this, and the way I'm looking at it, it pretty much follows that line I got right there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and cut that line. It's hard to see with the light, the light in front of me. I need the light behind me, really, to see it good, but I can see a little bit. But what I think I'm going to use is my shear, my electric shear. So I'm going to take this electric shear and what I like about it is it's very quiet and it don't produce no sparks and it does good on straight edges, flat straight edges it does real good. I will wear my safety glasses over. Some. I think I'm going to use my grinder again on the rest of this. Try to get this area like uh, really pretty much where I need to be, then I need to start coming back in just a little bit. Get this right here. Better here though. Doesn't it? 
Terrible. Terrible. I don't know how. Fuck, I ended up going that far out with it. I always end up fucking myself. All right, guys, so I got it ready to start tacking. And what we're going to do, I think, first, I'm going to get me a tack down here at the bottom. Get this uh, down cable hooked back up. Son of a bitch, turn loose. Now, this ground cable is going to be in the way, I think. Careful, so what I'm going to do is feed it through the dash here. And we're going to stay on one with about a 35 feed rate. We're going to go ahead and get a tack in it up here, tack in it back here. And then as we fold it around, we'll tack it. We'll probably do a little beating. Get it all lined up. So I think one thing I want to do is I'm going to bring my lights over here where I have light on me instead of uh, shadows. So let me get that and we'll come right back. Alright, so that's probably what I should have had to start with. Where I could have been seeing some things, especially my lineup. I still got some shadows over here in this corner. So I may have to move this thing over a little bit, but right here I can see pretty good. I'm gonna have shadows but this lighting in here sucks. That's the way it is. But I can actually see better out of my uh, out of my helmet if I've got a light behind me or a light shining down on me. I 
hold in the final place till they solidify. If that weld red, you turn loose, it's just going to do like that one did. I ain't too worried about it. I can push that out a little bit. Push that out a little bit. Remember 